hello and welcome to the video today we'll be making this terrain which has a lot of vegetations and uh, there is a lot of rainfall and there is a little small lake here and there are some rivers here and there so before starting the terrain we'll visualize what we want to make so for the base shape we are taking a ridge node which has uh, some of this um, hill right here and uh, the area around here where we can put a lake or maybe two so we'll start with the ridge node which has lots of definition other is default and then we warp it so what warping will do is it will add uh, more details to it and it will break these these straight lines here so for the warp we will give it a small size lots of roughness and two iterations and then we erode it so since it, it's an area which has a lot of rain so we are increasing the down cutting and everything else is default now for the structures that, we, that were poking out of the terrain we take a Vernoi plus and we put little bit of density clip it so there is less of these structures and then give it a little shape then we blur it a default then we warp it to break the corners so there is more definition on the corners so it will help later with our erosion so for the warp the same we did before with the terrain it's small size lots of roughness and then we combine them so there are a lot of ways to combine it but this is what i came up with we take a fx node and invert it with this masks from the vernoi so this is what we are getting now if you see on top of these we don't have much structures so what we do is we take a height mask so we are taking these in the top of the slopes so we put a stack with this mask so there is more definition on top stacks it's nothing much we only have increased the stacks and then we erode now we are eroding these parts so since it is on the top and it's sort of like a hill so there will be more rainfall here and there will be lot of down cutting on here so we are using the area effect as precipitation amount and altitude which is set to this 38 percent which means top 38 percent will get the rainfall so this is our second heroes and the first we did for the whole terrain for the ridge i mean and this is for the whole terrain with the area effect now we put rivers these are the rivers and for the rivers we need lots of water and lots of width everything else is default and this looks good we can change the seed if we want it won't change much okay then we will add a lake right here so we take a height let's put it as underlay so we can view which height it is taking okay so it is taking this part right here only the down and the part in the bottom here so there will be only rainfall here then we put it as the mask for the lakes so the rain will only be here we are giving it a small precipitation amount and some flood control to control the water here i think we can decrease it more yeah this this looks good yeah so this is the lake now we'll come to the texturing part so before we get to the texturing 
what we'll do is we take the input from the river put it at a fx node and make this a portal which is named final terrain so if you view this this is final terrain node and we put the depth surface for the river and depth in the lake mask for the lake so we should put this as and only for our texturing and there is yeah for the erosion we are taking the wear and the flow so how the flow mask is made we take the first erosion take the flow put and combine it with the our uh, war knowing so we take a height mask and mask the top of these structures and then subtract it from the from the flow of this on the of our first erosion so since this erosion is on the ridge and the uh, vornoi will then be covering these areas so we are subtracting it so there is no flow in those areas then we will be combining the flow with this erosion so here let me on this part so if you see we get this part added in the flow later this is our flow mask now we take our final terrain and put a texture to it now if you notice we are taking this as the final terrain but for the underlay on which we are displaying our texture is this one so this is because in the lakes now this area will lose its definition and it will be flat when we use the lake so we are getting the definition from here so that the texture is applied better if it is flat then the texture won't be won't look that good in those flat areas so this is our final terrain so then after that we will first combine two set maps the first one for the rocks here we are taking a rocky color just a random color and combine it with this green vegetation set map and uh, this vegetation since vegetation will be in the areas where there is more water so to make the texture like that we are adding a small amount of warp so it's it looks just better than the normal set map so we are adding a blur small amount of blur then warp it and put this and for the mask of this combine we are using the slope So this is the slope we are using the the 64 degrees and we can adjust it if we don't like the final combine but it looks good so we are getting some of these here and these and this happens because when some of the rainfall flows here then the flow is more so there is less vegetation in these areas and of course not on the slopes and then this is a small trick that I use we combine the flows back so if you see then we are getting these flows we are using a sandy color and the flow is our mask and then we combine it if you notice we are not combining it uh, with a hundred percent blend because we don't want them to stand out that much so we are only using some of it and usually what I do is I use this this set map for it so that it uh, doesn't stand out much and matches with the color of the rocks but since we'll be adding some sand on the river bank so we are using that sand as our second input for our combine now before adding our rivers 
if this is where we are adding our reverse so as you can see we are getting some sand around here on the bank of the river so this is what we are doing right here so we are taking the river and we blur it so it's little bit bigger than the actual rivers so if we put river on top of it then this will be poking out of the corners so the since the river node doesn't have a mask for the rivers the lake node has a hard mask and it doesn't have mask so what we are doing is we take the depth and blur it a little bit and put the absolute so that the mask becomes hard then we warp it with a small size lots of strength and lots of roughness so we get these hard edges and then we blur them so it looks nice when we combine it we are combining the earlier set map and now we add reverse on top of them so we are using the exact same thing for the, our river so we take our river mask blur it a little warp it and then use a clutter to give it a blue color the dark blue and you can adjust this but there's not much on the here because the mask will cut it out so we combine it with the sand we com combined earlier so that there is some sand on the banks and for the mask for it we take the river depth auto level it this is our river mask this is what we used here and then it's not doing okay then we put a absolute so that we get a hard mask then we blur it a little and we combine the reverse here and finally we will combine the lake so we take the lake depth blur it and then warp with a small size and roughness maximum and then use a clutter to give it some color like the dark cyan color for here let me adjust it a little bit okay and then the white for the you don't have to actually worry about the white because it will be masked anyway so we use the lake lake as the mask and this is what we get this is our final train and you can check out all of the other trains that I created I'll put the link to my art station in the description go check it out and uh, let me know what you think <music>